Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In recent videos I've made, I've been talking about my new Charles Schwab American Express Platinum card. And this card is amazing because it gives you a cash out ability for your Amex membership reward points. You can cash out your points at a rate of one point to 1.25 cents into your Charles Schwab brokerage account. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the other American Express cards that earn membership reward points. Does it make sense to get any of these cards and pair them with the Charles Schwab Platinum card in order to maximize your cash out ability on everyday spend? First thing I have to say is that it does not make sense for everyone to get the American Express Platinum card, either the vanilla or the Charles Schwab version. In my other video, I go over more detail. And for me, a uh, quick recap, the problems are the multipliers on the card. You only earn 5x on flights with the airline websites and Amex's booking portal, so not third-party we uh, websites. You also only earn 5x on hotels booked directly with Amex's portal. So this card does not have a broad travel category comparable to the uh, Amex green card or the Chase Sapphire Reserve. It currently also has a $550 annual fee and it potentially might go up later this year. There's going to be some changes announced. Uh, other channels have been talking about this. Potentially new cards will be introduced or maybe the annual fee will change. But for that $550 annual fee, you do get a lot of credits. It's up to you what you value those credits are. In my opinion, the real power of this card is lounge access. And in order to take advantage of lounge access, you really do need to be flying three or more times round trip in a year. If you just don't travel or fly that often, then I don't recommend this card. Uh, potentially getting the Chase Sapphire Reserve with a broad travel category might make more sense for you. But if you do think that the Platinum card does make sense for you, then I highly recommend getting the Charles Schwab version over the Platinum. Uh, this card is identical to the Platinum Vanilla, except it uh, has two additional abilities. The first one being the Schwab Appreciation Bonus. If you hold a certain amount of assets with Charles Schwab, they will give you an annual statement credit. This effectively lowers the annual fee to either $450 a year or $350 a year. Not everyone's going to meet these requirements, but it's still nice that it's there. And then you have the invest with rewards function of the card. And this is what everyone talks about. This is what everyone really appreciates about the card is that you can cash out your membership reward points at a rate of one point to 1.25 cents. Amazing. So let's look at these other cards, the Amex Gold, Green, Everyday Preferred, Blue, Everyday, Business Platinum, Business Gold, and Blue Business Plus cards. Does it make sense to get these cards in order to maximize a cashback strategy with the Charles Schwab Platinum? The first three cards that we should eliminate are the Business Platinum and Business Gold. These have really high annual fees, and I think you do need to be a legit business with uh, business expenses in order to really offset those annual fees. So for that purpose, we're not going to look at those in this video. Additionally, you can hold the Charles Schwab Platinum and the original Vanilla Platinum card. To me, that doesn't make sense because you're overlapping so many benefits like lounge access or hotel status. Yes, you can get both of them in order to get the sign-up bonus, but then it really does make sense after one year to, to cancel the Vanilla Platinum and just keep the Charles Schwab version. So we've narrowed our pool down to examination of just the Amex Gold, the Amex Green, the Everyday Preferred, the Blue, the Everyday, and the Blue Business Plus card. Let's go through each one of these. But first, the Charles Schwab Platinum does earn you 5x on flights booked with directly with airlines or their portal and 5x on hotels booked directly with their portal. That is the equivalent of earning 6.25% cash back. You're definitely not going to earn that kind of a cash back rate with any other card, so that is a fantastic benefit to this card. Next card we have to look at is the Amex Gold card. This does have an annual fee of $250. They do give you $220 worth of credits to offset that. Once again, as always, it's up to you how much you value those true credits at. But this card earns 4X on restaurants worldwide and 4X on supermarkets up to $25,000 uh, and spend per calendar year. This is the equivalent of getting 5% cash back on restaurants, 5% cash back on supermarkets, and then uh, it does also give you 3x on flights, which would be 3.75% cash back. You would never use this because you, once again, are holding the Charles Schwab Platinum card, which earns a higher rate 
four flights. So if you were to pair this card, uh, it'd be the equivalent of having a 5% cashback card on restaurants and supermarkets all, all year. Uh, <laughs> that is a really good benefit. Normally with these uh, quarter rotation cards, like the Discover It card, you might get 5% cash back up to a certain dollar amount per quarter. But if you pair the gold with the Schwab card, you're just getting 5% cash back all year. Next is the Amex green card, and this does have a $150 annual fee. They give you $200 worth of credits to offset that, but I personally value those credits at $0. I think they're garbage. But this card uh, is nice because it does give you a broad travel category, which includes things like flights, hotels, transit, taxis, rideshare services. So this would trigger, uh, for example, Lyft, Airbnb, Uber. And getting 3x is the equivalence when cashing out points of getting 3.75% cash back on travel and then 3.75% cash back on restaurants. If you also had the gold card, that doesn't make any sense because the gold would earn a higher rate. So you really have to decide, do you want the green or do you want the gold? Next card is the Amex Everyday Preferred card, and this does have an annual fee of $95. And this card is very strange because you earn 3x points on supermarkets, 2x points on gas stations, 1x on everything else but you can get a 50% boost on points if you use this card for 30 separate transactions in one month. So if you trigger the 50% bonus, it's the equivalent of getting 4.5 membership reward points on supermarkets, 3X membership reward points on gas stations, 1.5 and everything else. When you then uh, cash those out for points with the Schwab card, this can get you 5.625% cash back on supermarkets, 3.75% cash back on gas, 1.875 on everything else. If it's less than 2% cash back on everything, it's not worth your time. The city double cash beats that. The 3.75% on gas is sort of good because Amex doesn't really have any good cards for earning cash back on gas. However, the 5.625 cash back on supermarkets has a problem and that problem is the blue cash preferred card. Once again, also an annual fee of $95, and this just earns you 6% cash back. So you don't have to monkey around with the 50% point bonus or the 1.25% cash out rate. You can, if you just want cash back at grocery stores and you're willing to pay a $95 annual fee, this is a better card. It also would earn you 6% cash back on streaming, 3% cash back on transit, 3% cash back on gas stations, and then 1% on everything else. Next card to look at is the blue from American Express, and this just earns you 1x points on everything. This really is a starter card. If you have no credit or bad credit, this can get you into Amex's uh, you know, network. Uh, and this would only give you 1.25% cash back on everything. Once again, less than 2%. We don't care, you wouldn't wanna do this. The Amex Everyday credit card is a no annual fee, and this is kinda like the little, little brother of the Amex Everyday Preferred. And this earns you 2x on supermarkets, 1x on everything else, and you get a 20% boost when you uh, use this card 20 or more times in a month. That is the equivalent of earning 2.4 uh, membership reward points or 1.2. This gets you 3% uh, cash back on supermarkets, 1.5% cash back and everything else. Once again, the problem with this card is you can just get the blue cash every day, which is a strictly cash back credit card. And this gets you 3x, 3% uh, cash back on supermarkets, 2% cash back on gas and department stores. So it doesn't make any sense to get the uh, everyday card. The final card we're looking at though might be my favorite American Express card. And this is the Blue Business Plus card. Your first question might be, do I qualify for business cards? I've made several videos on my channel talking about this. I'll link them down below. Yes, you do qualify for business cards. Almost everyone does. And this earns you 2X membership reward points on all purchases up to $50,000 a year. When you cash those points out with the Charles Schwab Platinum card, this is the equivalent of getting you 2.5% cash back on everything, and it's a no annual fee card. So this beats all the other cash back, no annual fee cards you can get like the City Double Cash, 
For that reason, uh, this card is fantastic. If you are in Amex's network or Amex's system or have any Amex cards, I highly recommend you get this card because it earns you the highest rates, both points and cash back, when, uh, when you're spending in this other category. The other category being literally everything that doesn't qualify for, you know, for either supermarkets or streaming or gas or whatever. So because Amex's regular lineup of cashback cards are just better, uh, it doesn't make sense to get the Everyday Preferred, the Blue or the Everyday and pair them up with the Schwab card. That really only leaves the Gold, Green and Blue Business Plus. And it really is up to you which you would rather have, the green or the gold. The green having an annual fee of 150, but the credits are garbage. The gold having a $250 annual fee, but the multipliers are better and the credits are better. For that reason, I, I really can't justify having the green cards. So the only cards that make sense to have is the blue business plus the gold and then pair them with the Charles Schwab Platinum. And that might sound familiar because that is the Amex trifecta. We indirectly got to that uh, setup that everyone talks about and uh, you know praises. I've made a separate video going through exactly how much you can earn from uh, normal spends from the Amex trifecta setup. Real quick, we can just cover it. Here's my fake budget uh, based on numbers that I think I spend. So I would funnel $20,000 worth of spend in a year through my credit cards to earn membership reward points. If you do this, you can earn uh, 57,880 points. And when you cash those out with the Charles Schwab Platinum card, they equal $724. Now the annual fee for this card setup is 800. So you don't quite uh, offset the annual fee from your spend, but then you have to factor in the credits. The combined $300 airline fee credit, the $200 Uber credit, the $100 Saks credit, the $120 uh, Amex Gold dining credit. You then have to factor in how much do you value for lounge access, hotel and car rental status, TSA pre-check, and then authorized users, which I think is a pretty good uh, benefit for the Amex Platinum card. For that reason, this is why people love American Express so much, because if you're willing to put in the time and effort in order to uh, max optimize your spending and then uh, maximize the credits and benefits, you really can extract great value. People who are, Amex requires more thought and effort than other card setups like City or Chase. But if you're willing to put in the time, and this is just something that you generally enjoy, uh, it's a lot of fun. This is a fun hobby and uh, you know, you can, you can get a lot of great value from it. So there you have it. If you're just trying to maximize your cashback strategy and you're willing to put in the time and effort to uh, take advantage of those credits and benefits, the Charles Schwab Platinum version of the American Express Platinum card is fantastic. I can't talk highly enough about it. And we went over the other cards, which ones make sense. I basically narrowed it down to the gold and the blue business plus. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. I post weekly about military and finance topics, but I talk a lot about credit cards these days. And if you have any questions or comments, leave me one down below. I love hearing from you guys. And until the next video, take care.